I have friends, Boozy Loomer, back for part two of our New Island mucknit <laughs> game at Zay with Straight Face. I have to tell you, it'll grow on me. It'll grow on me. And um, I mean, it's going to have to. So, oh, okay. So while the doggos don't hurt us, they do kill each other and other things. So I'm just going to gonna right click here and pick up that meat for later because resources that it's all about resources anything you can pick up and let's see if I click out of okay choose a new pocket that thing's out of my hand I was gonna set up the tent but you know what I think I'm gonna go around and collect some resources because I'm remembering now that until you set down your base camp your clock is kind of just stopped so you kind of your first day is as long as you want it to be you can pick up all kinds of wood you can shake all kinds of trees. Um, there are flowers you can gather. I'm just going to go around our little island here that we're going to set up our base camp and, and just kind of gather all of our resources. Um, yes, I just picked up poo, and uh, <laughs> we will need that at a later time, so you might as well start collecting it now. But wood, definitely. So what's going to happen? Again, for you dinkum newbies, is Fletch is going to start giving us tasks to do. So after we put down our base, she's going to ask us to do certain things, and we're going to earn earn tools from her, different, different things from her to help us. That's that flower I was talking about that we're going to just harvest some of those. So anything you can start with that's going to make it easier? I mean, why not? We I know we're going to need some of the wood in some of the tasks. So I'm just going to get what I can right now. And I've actually kind of been looking around as I went here to see where I want to put my base tent as opposed to where I'm going to put other things. I think I want to keep it close to the water. I, I kind of like the idea of being next to the beach shells we could probably collect those as well don't have a whole lot of pocket room at the very beginning but there's not a whole lot we can get at this point either so i think we're okay get some more of more of that a little waffle flower some more rupu why not it's there right okay so oh feather Pick that up. Why not? And again, you can do whatever you'd like. If you want to not collect resources and just set up your tent and start doing your tasks for Fletch, you're welcome to do that. This game is whatever you want it to be. It's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be relaxing. And it and it, it's different for everybody. So, oh, I see some more waffle flowers. Okay, I keep kind of coming back to the tower and our dock. So I think, let's look at the map one more time. I think I'm going to go ahead and put my base camp somewhere near there. I, I keep coming back to it, so I feel like the universe is telling me, put down your tent. Fine, I'll do it, but I do want to go up here by the beach. Okay, this is a nice little clearing. And just spoiler here, you can move it later. You don't have to live here forever. And this is kind of just your starter house, by the way. This is just to get you going while you're collecting other resources and, and building your, your village. So is this a good place for my base tent? Heck yeah, it is. Let's just, let's do it. Boom. Now we're committed. Oh, hey, Fletch. So this is where you decided to build? Uh, yeah, looks like it. It's absolutely perfect. Our new home here in <laughs> Mucknid. I will not be able to say that without laughing. Thank you so much for setting up the base tent. Oh, and guess what? I actually have a tent for you too. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> okay, it's been a while since I've started an island. I totally forgot I was setting up Flinch's tent. And now I, I used the perfect spot that I wanted my tent. Darn it, Fletch, 
Fletch. Okay. Thank you, Fletch. I know it's not much, but it'll be a place for you to call home. Oh, okay. Well, I thought I just put my home down, but apparently not. Now there is plenty of room to spread out here on Mugnid. <laughs> so please take your time to place your tent. <laughs> I, I will. You'll probably be visiting the base tent a fair bit. Okay. So keep that in mind while you're looking for a spot to claim as your own. I'll be inside the base tent getting things ready. Come and speak to me once you've placed your tent. All right, Fletch, that just threw a kink in the works there because I thought I had the best spot on the beach. Darn it. Okay, that's fine. You need to shake it off. It's fine because guess what? Boom, there's a better spot. Ugh, dude, right here, better spot. Right on the beach, right next to that beautiful shark. Still can we, yep, we can see the base tent from here. Level, okay, we're level. We're by a little tree. Good, I mean, this spot's better, obviously, anyway. So, boom. Yeah, this is what I wanted the first time. I was just teasing. I was just teasing before. Okay, we have placed our tent. Pretty sure that was our first task. So let's go talk to Fletch. Oh, wow, she has fancy music. You found a good place for your tent? <laughs> yes, yes I did. I know it's not much, but I hope you like your new home. Tell you what, you've got the spark, Boozy. <laughs> Thank you, Butch. <laughs> you see, most people back in South City are scared of leaving. Yeah, I, yeah, I worry for them. There is something about that place that pulls the spark out of people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I'll tell you what, we certainly aren't the first to leave. What? Have you ever heard of the traveling trader John? Um, I obviously have heard of John because this isn't my first rodeo. Um, but let's pretend this is my first island. So we'll say, no, I don't know who that is. I tell you what, he's a bloody legend. <sighs> what? Rumor is he traded a paperclip for a steamboat once. I doubt that. Trading is in his very blood. John got in contact with me before we left South City. Hmm. He's interested in visiting with his shop here. Okay. Tell you what, we can't miss an opportunity like this. I reckon we get this visiting site deed ready for him. Okay. That way, we'll have a place ready for any visitors who come to Mucknid. I'll let you decide where the best place is for visiting site deed. Pretty sure I read that wrong. Just be sure it's close by. Okay, I don't know why that's funny, but okay. <laughs> we want visitors to feel like they're part of the Mucknid community while they are here. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to be part of that community? Who knows? Maybe we can convince him to set up a permanent shop here. Be sure to talk to me once you've placed the visiting site deed. Okie dokie pokey. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Okay, yes. Um, honestly, for me, <laughs> I don't know why placing these things gives me such anxiety. I feel like, again, there's no wrong way to do it. We're going to be able to move every single one of these things. But let's see. What if we just put it down here also by the beach? Kind of between all of us. There's some nice trees. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, is that tree going to bother me? That's the question. Ugh. I, it probably will. It shouldn't, but it probably will. But I'm going to do it. I, I'm going to do it. I'm clicking it. Boom. Is this a good place for the visiting site deed? Yep, this is going to do it. Okay. So I think we just completed another task. You know what I'm going to do before we even go back to Fletch? I'm going to hit tab look into my pockets, and I'm going to clear out my little tool belt. I, I'm going to attempt to clear out my little tool belt. I think I can hit shift and click, there we go, and it pops right in there. Perfect. I feel better already. And then escape. Yay. Now let's go talk to Fletch. I think she's just waiting for us. 
not sure what else she has to do today, but um, here we are. Boom, Fletch. So you're all set for visitors, huh? Mm -hmm. Well done, Boozy. Well, thank you, Fletch. We've only been here for a little while, but you've achieved so much already. You have very low standards, but thank you. You remind me of my father. He was born right here on Mucknid. Did you know? I didn't know that. He was a true blue adventurer, through and through. Oh, he loved doing new things and keeping track of all his milestones in his adventurer's journal. I want, I wanted to come here and try and meet those milestones myself. Oh, good job. But I'm getting a bit long in the tooth, Boozy. Okay, that's... Uh, please, I want you to take the adventurer's journal. Okay, please keep good care of it. I will. Thank you, Fletch. This is your adventure now. <sighs> well, I appreciate that. It is my adventure. And yours too, if you're willing to come along. Ah, my journal. That journal means a lot to me. But I think my dad would be glad someone like you is looking after it. But I have a challenge for you, Boozy. Uh, challenge accepted. I want you to try and beat my father's milestones. Okay. Some of these milestones are going to take a long time to complete, but there is no hurry. I'm also going to add daily tasks to the journal. These will be smaller milestones that should be easy to complete in just one day. Now for the good part. For every milestone you surpass, you'll be rewarded with permit points. Ooh, I'll tell you what, you're going to want a lot of permit points eventually, but we can talk more about that tomorrow. For now, check out the journal. I think you'll find that you've actually completed some of the milestones inside. Be sure to claim them. Now, are you hungry? I am. I think it's just about lunchtime. I've seen fruit growing around this island, and that sounds tasty. You go and find find us some fruit. And when you get back, I will show you how to craft a campfire. Okay. Okay, we're going to hit escape to open my journal. Oh, look at us. We have placed the tent. We're good. We're good. First milestone. Um, milestone for placing the base tent. Okay. We've got two of them already done. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, we obviously harvested our fruit a bit early. We're not going to get credit for those, those uh, bush limes we've already collected, but there'll be more. It's okay. We're fine. It's fine. Um, we got a lot done. So before we go ahead and, and do the rest of, rest of those tasks, um, I think we're good for our part two, right? We've, we've done a lot and I'm exhausted. So I'm going to say goodbye now and uh, I'll see you for part three of starting our brand new island. See you later.